know if y'all heard about the lady on TikTok who's been hopping inmates. So basically, she'll go pick them up from prison or jail, take them home, get a little, you know, with them, and um, yeah, send them on their way. Or they'll be in a relationship for a little bit, then they break up. And so you trying to tell me it's a dude been locked up for 10 years. He don't know the last time he seen some poom poom. You going to play with him for a little bit like a new toy and then let him go? That is predatory. Am I tripping? It is predatory. She go get another one. They have like a website for like, if someone's about to get out of jail, you can like write them letters and you know, try to get to know them. Or you can just sign up to pick them up from jail to take them home. But she takes them to her house, has uh, adult fun time with them. And then they either go on their way or they get in a relationship. And then she just starts to cycle over and over again. She got a pretty good business on. <laughs> it's getting treacherous out here. Even the predators getting preyed on. It's getting treacherous out here, man. <laughs> How old are you? I am 31. Are you single? I have a situation, Chad. So oh, hold, hold on. Hold on now. Hold on now. That thing came with a serial number. That thing came with a serial number. Yes, it did. I just want to get that out of my system. So why haven't you just asked him to be yours? I have a mental health problem and I just don't really think I'm good for anybody. But why do you feel like that about yourself? Because I've had many, many episodes and I didn't used to be a good person. Why do you say that? My mental health was really bad and I would just take it out on every guy I dated. They didn't do anything wrong. It, it was just me. But... How long was your last relationship? Two years. Did you break up with him or did he break up with you? He broke up with me. Why do you think he left you? Because he couldn't handle me being unstable all the time. Like I told you, I'm on meds. What did that look like, Dana? To hear somebody admit and take accountability, just come clean about being the problem. That is commendable. That is rare, but very commendable. Sometimes I would have random like mood swings and I would take it out on him or sometimes I would change my mind on things sporadically and that kind of just made him like pushed away. He was actually a really good person. If he's watching this, you're a good person, it was me. I wouldn't even date me, honestly. I have a lot of things I need to work on. We don't never hear that on the internet. We do not never hear no female come out and say that. I was the problem. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead and get some of this smoke. Get some of this smoke, girl. I wasn't expecting that. I, now I feel bad about talking about the um the extra edition you came with. The bigger, the better. Oh. I thought that was a vape. No. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no, no. What's your name? I better. This better be posted. Uh, uh, okay, my name's Carson. Question of dance. Why do white women love black men so much? A lot of reasons. I'm listening. <laughs> the bigger, the better. My ladies of the white demographic, is that why you guys love us so much? Huh? Do you feel as though the Twix is double-sized on our side? You took down some things. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Why are you doing that? How you guys doing? Doing good, doing good. You guys all look wonderful. Where are you from? Alaska. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's first figure out. I was in the middle. Hold on. All right, man. We got to figure out why they popped the balloon first. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the balloon first. When I saw your pants, I felt like you were getting a little compressed. Nice. Compressed? Yeah. What, what does that mean? You're just... What does that mean? Not that. So you basically saying he's short and stubby. Oh. Why are you, why are you I'm not saying, saying no, but she's saying no. You said that on me. No, you said, you said he walked in and you said he like this. Bro, let her so talk. You, okay, so you feel like that kind of just like squeezed him down like this. I'm just, so you, you like, you like, 
six feet and over or what? Like a little bit, yeah. But does it matter if you like get with a five, five, nine type of person? You don't like care about that? Five, ten. <laughs> what they popping for? Did they pop because this man is 5'9"? Five 5'9 nine? Five nine is short? Crazy thing is he taller than every girl in that room, dog. He taller than every female in that room. Hold on right quick. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Denea! Denea! Hold on, bro. She ain't, I ain't gonna have her stay for too long, but I, I gotta ask. I gotta show her this shit right here. Hey, husband. Hey, babe. I need your input on the video. Can you come downstairs right quick? Here I come. All right. It ain't going to be for too long. Okay. That's fine. All right. 5'9", son? You know, I be getting all emotional when it comes to this topic right here. But what topic? Just, just watch the video. I want a, like I want your honest opinion. Why they popped the balloon first? We gonna get to that. Queen, we gonna get to get the balloon first. Queen the haters. I felt like you were getting a little compressed. Nice. Compressed. Yeah, you were, you were what, what does that mean? You're just. Oh, damn. So you basically saying he's short and stubby. Oh, stubby. Why are you? Why are you? I'm not saying no. Cause she's saying no. You said that on me. You said you, you said you said he walked in and you said he like this. Bro, let her so talk. You, okay, so you feel like God kind of just like squeezed him down like this. I'm just so you you like you like. Six feet and over, or what? Like a little bit, yeah. But does it matter if you like get with a five, five, nine type of person? You don't like, care about that? Five, ten. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> son, five, nine, son. But wait, why are they all popped? Is he not five, nine? He is five, nine. They're saying five, nine is too short. I'm so confused. I'm confused too. I told you I asked a, uh, one of my clients about that, and she's short, and she says that she prefers tall guys, and she says it's because she feels like taller guys can like protect her better than short men. But I feel like it's an energy in an aura that a man has, no matter what his height is, that lets you know that makes you feel protected or not. Facts. Like, a lot of tall men that I see, I just feel like sometimes I don't get that protective energy from them. Secondly, sometimes I feel like they just too into themselves. So, like, okay. their instinct, their primal instinct is not where it needs to be because they just a little aloof and too focused yeah. on them. But I do feel as though because niggas are tall, people never tried them. So, they don't have that experience of actually being dangerous. Like but, short but that's niggas, a deficit, though. Like that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like being short, people try you all the time, so you always on you always on go. But see, that's the thing too. I think that short men need to learn how to like balance out because they already have the eyes stacked against them. Because y'all always have to defend yourself. Y'all kind of always on go, which kind of sometimes when y'all deal with women, make y'all a little bit more like not aggressive in the way I want you. I gotta have you, but just like def no. not de a defensive. It, Where, it, it depends. It depends. Because, you know. In my experience, I feel like it takes shorter men a longer time to get comfortable in their skin. Like, to be less phased by, like, their outside world. You know what I'm saying? In their 20s and things, they still kind of have a chip on their shoulder. But I feel like in their, like, 30s, mid-30s, it's like, well, okay, well, that's your lowest queen. I know... Everything I bring to the table, I'm good. Like, it's not so... Uh, so, you know, like, they upset. They just... Got you. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I see where you I see where you're going with it. Yeah. And I, I honestly too, I feel really like not that y'all like extinct, but I do just feel like I never really realized how big of a deal it was until like these 
dating shows and podcasts started to become more popular. And I think about my father. You know, my father's short. And it's just like, I never looked at my father like he's such a short man. My father spoiled me down and still disciplined in me with my best friend. Still is. It's just like a lot of those qualities that my father has as a short man, I'm sure other short men have. You know what I'm saying? But it's like these women, they missing out on that because they automatically disqualifying someone off their height alone. That's crazy. It is. And then I just think too, it's just like, you're not really getting to see people for who a person for who they are. You know, I think too going to private school helped me with that. What you mean? Like, well, I guess public school too, but like just my first introduction to, to children, like short, tall, big, fat. I never was like, oh, you look like this. I'm not going to talk to you. It was just like, I'm around a variety of people, a variety of characters. And I just also as, as like family kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. As yeah. opposed to when I went to public school, they yeah. judged you off of like yeah, yeah, your yeah. appearance. And that's when I became self-conscious for the first time. Yeah. You know? Damn, that's crazy. You are right. When I went to public school, that's when everything was more so like a, a, a competition. competition. I was, I always been like dark skinned chubby, but I was a dark skinned chubby happy girl. And then I went to like sixth grade or fifth grade and they may, I really became aware of how yeah, dark, dark I was. Skin. Yeah, I was just like, I just, that was the first time I ever felt uncomfortable. Yeah, in my that's body. true. I didn't really, I wasn't that aware that I was short until I went to public school. That's what I'm saying. Damn, that's crazy. I never thought about it like that. I remember that. Like, my whole world changed after that. Like, I was exposed to, like, Yo. yeah, I wasn't aware that, you know, I didn't. My shoe game That's what I'm saying. Park. None you know, of that. Even in, pri- in in private school, like I I didn't have Tims and stuff. You know, I had them glaciers. My goddamn pops bought me them glaciers, but it wasn't that big of a deal. That's what until, I'm until like I got to public school and it was like in private school I had Jordans. Everybody else had Jordans, but the kids that didn't have Jordans, we didn't tease them. Yeah, you didn't tease it's them. just like okay, they got on their uniform shoes. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that big of a deal. Damn, I never thought about it like that. But yeah, that, I never thought about it like that. Damn. But I feel as though this is bullshit. I've always felt like this is BS. I told you. In high school, it was my f- I thought I was ugly because I was short. And then once we went away to college, I guess I started using the, the, the money from college to buy clothes. Now motherfuckers is in my DMs and shit talking crazy. That's so weird to me, though. Like that's not what make you cute. Like, cause you could, you have, you can dress now. I I didn't know I was. See, I looked at that picture. I was like, damn, I look like that. I ain't know I look like that. I mean, I I thought I was getting joints cause you know I'm funny. I could speak. I know how to talk to females and shit like that. But I was looking at the picture I'm like, damn, I was sexy. Oh my god, here you go. I didn't know. You know, I ain't. Know. I mean, I get it. I I mean, you know, like. Me and you, you didn't automatically automatically look at me and think I was sexy. I didn't automatically look at you and think you were sexy. We both had like friend vibes initially, and then it grew into something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's still, I never like, oh, RJ's calling me. Okay, let's talk. Let's see. Anybody in high school who approached me that was like genuine and not on no creep shit, yeah. I spoke to them. Facts. Any, first of all, I don't even know how you got my number because I didn't give it to you. I got but the. the w. You see what I was, that's just passing numbers around, but it's like, yeah, okay, well, if y'all found my number, you must want to talk about something. It was just, I'm curious, what's up? You know, not even on no, you like me, it's just, okay, well, let's see what's going on. I just saw you as you, and if we click person, personally, then all right, and if we don't, then we just wouldn't talk. I feel like we be overcomplicating a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people too judgmental. So judgmental. Yeah. Like, some people wouldn't talk to you because they think they stock will go down. That's what it was the in high school. F- what is that like even? a lot, like bro. They, I don't want to. I don't. I don't know. Certain. Go ahead and just say it. Nah, I ain't gonna oh, do okay. it. Okay, all right. I ain't gonna do it because I. Don't, I don't want you know. All right, I had a girlfriend in high school. Oh, I had a girlfriend in high school, but it really don't count because we went out for like a week, and like she asked me out, bro, and you know we broke up after about a week or whatever. But I remember she liked me, dog. She liked me from when we was in the little summer program. She was one of the flyest girls in school. My man started talking to her afterwards, and then he was basically explaining to me. She really broke up with me because girls was like, ew, you dating that nigga? He a bum. 
She didn't want her stock to go down. Because I wasn't getting... That's so weird, though. That's really what it was. But don't sleep. She is, I, she is a nice person. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing against her, but that was definitely why we broke up. We wouldn't have worked out anywhere. I don't think we would have worked out. Y'all wouldn't have worked out anyways. No, so that so was, either. you know, she 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 cut it short, but it, it wasn't going to last. How lost was your game? Babe, I was going to have you regardless. You talking spicy. I'm just you was gonna recognize what was up. She talking <laughs> sooner spicy. or later. Talk, but I'm just saying I don't think so. You don't think so? No, nah, I don't think so. Like I feel as if me and her would have like went out longer, like cause we started going out freshman year. I would have cheated on her. That's not where I thought she was going with that. Not like cause I I would I would have either cheated on her or like she would have cheated on me. Like it was too early. For freshman year, nah, it was too early. Something would have happened, and that would have like changed the course of who I was. Like I was doing shit in high school, but like, you know. But how are you gonna let? That's just interesting. Like, that's what I'm saying, judgmental. Because it's like I'm me and you're you. No, but I feel it. <laughs> what honestly, what I'm gonna say, I feel as though, and I'm leaning more towards. I feel as though she would have hurt, like broke my heart type shit first. Mm. I feel as though she would have broke my heart first. And then, because I never, I didn't have no broken heart throughout high school. I didn't. You was a little broken heart is about. When she left. No. Uh, oh, that's why you was broken hearted? She left. She had to move. To my Amber? Yeah. Amber had to move. Amber didn't cheat on me. Well, as far as I know, she didn't cheat on me or anything like that. But I do feel as though that other situation, she might have cheated or she might have, you know, Started varying off course or whatever, and I'd have felt some type of way. I'd have stressed me out, and then I'd have been on my life. Oh, these bitches ain't shit. So now I'm really going crazy. I was still yeah. going crazy, but I was we going crazy. And then we wouldn't cross paths. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't have. I was going crazy genuinely, like I was trying to, you know, see what joints was about. It wasn't you no. Know, I wasn't revenge. Yeah, you didn't have any ulterior motives. I didn't have no ulterior no, motives, but I feel as though, yeah, that situation, if it continued. Probably sophomore, junior year, yeah, I would have went, I would have turned into an animal. So yeah, it, I think it worked out for the best. <laughs>